All right, hello everybody. Well, I'm cold. It's cold down here. I don't know exactly what the temperature is right now, but got down to the upper 30s last night and you know, it's fixing on staying cold. So I'm cold, I know. I know, I, I, I hear it sometimes from my Northern friends. Oh, well it's 20 below up here. Or, or we got snow on the ground or we got to walk uphill both ways to get to work. I'm cold. Anyway, so there is a fence that we are moving today and we're gonna put a gate on the side of the house. But we're gonna be using these because I have a metal fence. So is what these are, the little plate that'll sit right against the house and it's got the little nub that the little gate holder thing in a bobber goes on there. And it just, I don't know, it's supposed to work. It's a neat uh, Amazon purchase. I'm gonna pick these up, had these for a while. Um, you never know when you need to put something on a wall or anything like that, at least. I don't know when my wife is going to make me do it or when I need to do it, but pick this up. This was a Home Depot purchase and we are going to be using these number 10s by inch and a half, which are these ones right here. And apparently now from how I read this, one of them will do 46 pounds. Um, I guess if you actually put it into a, I don't know what is there something that's 3,000 PSI I have no idea about what they mean by 3,000 PSI a little difficult to understand but it says it'll do 400 pounds so it's going in a block wall it's concrete I'm just gonna say 46 pounds each one and that fence is not that heavy it, it might weigh Oh, Lord, 10 pounds, 5 pounds, 10 pounds, 8 pounds. I don't know. But in order to get that all put together, got to have yourself a fancy masonry bit. Got to have a hammer drill. Got to have a, a pounder putter in her thing for, the, for those little plastic things that go in there. And then, a little screw gun to put the screws in. I'm pretty sure I got everything that I'm going to need here. Open that up and I'll show you. Because these are the ones here that we're using. And that's what they call a number 10. And there's these other ones over here you can see that the eights, much smaller. So we're going with the bigger size. And apparently, I don't know, apparently you screw it in there and not only does it expand this, but it pulls this in and opens the end up. I don't know. <sighs> apparently it does it all by magic. So, Got all the stuff that I'm gonna need. So let's go ahead and run out there and I'll show you what we're doing. All right, this is where the fence was, where it goes to the backyard. All I did was lift up on the fence and that's it. So back here, you can see that's the gate that I had on there. All I got is this. This little things that are clipped in backwards because I put the T post in backwards, but hey, that's all right. But this here, I'll just pick this up. Easy, easy, easy. There you go. You can go right there. So we're going to put those pins on the side of the house there. Then move that T-post, put that T-post over here, 
and we'll be able to move that latch. I guess I'm going to try to put a latch like that, see if I can get that to work over there. If not, don't know, and then we're taking this out. We're going to leave that post in, but this will be coming out. So, fun, fun times. All right, so that's what we got cooking. It's gonna be fun times. I say that a lot. I don't know, maybe I'm just trying to convince myself. So, ooh, ooh I know what I'm gonna need. I know, I know, I know what I'm gonna need. Oh, where are you? <laughs> Markers. Mark the holes. <sighs> so that way, that way while we're over there, get everything lined up. We can just mark it. We can call it good. That said it needed uh, five sixteenths. So this is five sixteenths. I don't know if this is five sixteenths or not. But I got all these other bits. So I'll just go ahead and use them all. I don't know if you guys do that. You guys use a bucket? Buckets are fun. I don't know, what, what, what is a bucket? W would you consider a bucket to be like, I don't know, the van of a toolbox? Not the vein, the van. God, I would love to have a van. Vans are cool. Put murals on the side. See, it picked up everything that I need. Do, 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 do. All right. So, get out here, get set up, and uh, once I go ahead and see how one of them is going to work, I'll bring it back in and show you how I did it. So that's done. Ish. So it's just going to come out to the front. It won't open up into the backyard, but that's all right. I got just had all my stuff just sitting down there. So, oh well. Anyway, so now got to get this latch off unfortunately it's just rusted up and just sitting there and just spinning so I got to get out my 18 volt power wheel of death or angle grinder whatever you want to call it and then we're gonna to have to come up with a way to attach it to here so we can actually latch, latch the gate. I'm pretty sure they make something for it. I ain't got it. It'll be all right. We'll figure something out. Things cost too much money just to go buy one little, one little thing. So, wheel of death. Then we'll do some engineering. It'll be fun times. The wheel of death. Which I gotta tell you, 
These battery power tools, I I dig them. I dig them. I like my battery powered stuff. So, got that off. And I went and did a little bit of digging and I found this. This is actually a clamp for a hose on a truck. Big truck, semi truck. Anyway, I remember I had a, uh, had a new one put on and it came with new clamps and I replaced the clamps out, but I kept these. I kept these because you just never know. You just never know when you're gonna need things. And uh, who knew? Who knew that five years later, I was gonna need one of these? Nobody. Not, I'm not, now, now hold on here. I'm not saying become a pack rat. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying this isn't trash. Keep it around, you never know. Especially if you do things around the house or anything like that. You just you just don't know. Um, now, cardboard boxes, things like that. Paperwork that you don't need that's already been done, taken care of. Scan it in, put it on a hard drive. Throw that stuff out, shred it up, toss it. Don't be that kind of pack rat. I hope that makes sense. All right. Let's see if this fits. Oh, what size is this? I bet you it's metric. Came off of Volvo. So, metric number 10. It is not a 10. I have to be dipped. It's an 11. I'll take it. I need that. One back. there do, do, do. so oh oh easy easy filthy fingers filthy nails wife's gonna kill me it's a lock nut All right, that didn't work. <sighs> well, we'll come back to that in a little bit. Let's get that other post put in and at least get that, let's get that hole covered up or hole
so that's all squared up. This is nowhere close to being square. Oh. I'm gonna find something for that latch. See how this goes. Won't be, won't be too big. I'm gonna grab the other one. Leave that out here in case I need it. Night eyes, S bender. I don't know. Focus. That made in China. Made in China. Made in China. It's like salsa made in New York City. New York City. Okay, I guess got to be older to remember that commercial. Perhaps, maybe. I don't know. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Sometimes my genius just amazes me. Here we go. Pull right up and open the gate. Uh, just, yep. 
There it is. I'll take it. All right. Let's get everything cleaned up. Done and cleaned. One more thing. I want to see what I got from Amazon. Kind of funny, there was only like one more thing on order. video picked up a couple things for you know cleaning the truck I know I put another video up here before of that but picked up something to use that with all right now let's see if it keeps the dogs in Good times. All right, come on, you two. Yeah. Gotta get you, get you, get you, get you. All right. Can you just follow me here. Yep. Right on my heels. There we go. I don't even think they noticed it. Oh, that's nice stuff. Okay, King Ian. Okay, King Ian. Oh, both of you want some love ones. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you two. I don't think you can get out of there. Good deal. All right. All right. So that takes care of all that good stuff. Feeling happy. That's done. See, prior before, if we wanted to go into the backyard, you either had to go through the house or through the garage door that's sitting over here because there was no gate to the backyard. Now we got a gate to the backyard, so now you just walk around the house. So if we had a service guy, or not maybe a service guy, but a uh, uh, to mow it, you could only take a push mower out into the backyard. So if we had anybody that that we paid to come over and do our yard, which we don't anymore, times are tough. Times are tough. So we'd push our mower, our push mower back and forth. So now with that being the way how it is, we can start mowing in the front and just work right on and not have to bring it through the garage or or anything I know small little stupid things I know but that whole thing out there didn't cost that much everything came pretty much on eBay the other stuff was already here and stuff that I've scavenged for throughout the years so I'm gonna say life is good you even though that we are in good times I guess I don't, I don't Anyway, everything is what it is, and it'll work out to be exactly how God intended it to be. At least, that's my thought process on this one, and oh, that's what I'm going to stick with. So, until the next video, where I got some stuff to go with that and some other stuff to try, kind of think of how it looks and see how it works, give a little short review on that stuff, but anyway... This is already a pretty long video, so thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment. Greatly appreciate it. And the one last thing, God bless you. I hope you guys have had a great weekend.
and hope you have an even better week. We'll catch you next one. Bye.